Grade 7 math number 9.3c, area of very odd composite figures. So we've learned in the last couple of videos that a composite figure is made up of two or more simpler figures like triangles, quadrilaterals, or semicircles. And to find the area of a composite figure, we divide it up into simple, non-overlapping figures. And we find the area of each simple figure and total them for the area of the entire composite figure. Drawing lines to separate the figures will help us we have to look carefully at each composite figure before dividing it up. And sometimes we need to find a total area and subtract a figure to get a total area for a composite figure. All right? So, as I've shown you before, here's our formulas for area, which I advise you to write down somewhere, like the inside cover of a folder or something, so it's quick and easy to get to. And here's our first odd composite figure. Look at this. It's got semicircles missing from it. So what we can do to solve this to find its area is we're going to find the area of the entire rectangle and subtract the semicircles. So we're going to pretend like this is one big rectangle. See? And if we know this side is 11 and that side's 20, length and width for a rectangle will give us the area of this entire rectangle including the missing areas. 11 times 20 is 220 square centimeters. See, it's in square centimeters. Now what we need to do is find the area for a circle and it's cut in half, isn't it? Well, the area of a circle would be pi r squared divided by 2 for a semicircle. So if we did just one of these, we would do 3.14 times its radius, and its radius is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's a 5. So we need 5 times 5, that's 25. And 3.14 times 25 is 78.50. Now, we could divide this by 2 to find out the area of a semicircle. If we multiply the 3.14 times 25, and we get 78.50, if we divide this by 2, it's going to give us the area of a semicircle. But, because we have two semicircles to subtract, we can just subtract the whole circle, the whole 78.50. See? That semicircle would be 39.25, and that semicircle would be subtracting 39.25. But together, they make a whole circle. So let's subtract an entire circle from this rectangle. That's the 78.5. And we subtract it from the 220 from the rectangle, and we get 141.50 centimeters squared. That is the total area for this weird shape that's missing two semicircles. See? We subtracted an entire circle from it. All right. Let's look at this weird shape. Isn't that odd? So, it looks like we've got a circle with a chunk missing and a triangle shoved into the side of it, doesn't it? So we can find the area for this entire circle and multiply it by 3 fourths because look, that's 3 fourths of a circle, isn't it? And then there's a triangle. So we can find the area of 3 fourths of this circle and find the area of the triangle. All right, so the area of a circle is pi r squared. I'm going to multiply that by 3 fourths because we've got a fourth missing. And we count its radius. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's got a radius of 6. So because that's squared, we're going to do 6 times 6, which is 36. Then we're going to do pi, 3.14 times the 36, and get 113.04. And that has to be multiplied by the 3 fourths, right? Because we only have 3 fourths of a circle. Well, 113.04 times 3 is 339.12, and that's over 4. And we divide this by 4 and we get 89.28 square inches for the three-fourths of a circle. Now we have to do the rectangle. Well, a re uh, I mean the triangle. The triangle is half base height, and this is a 10, and that's a 6. So we multiply 10 times 6 and get 60, and now we need half of it. Half of 60 is 30, so we have 30 square inches. We add the 89.28 square inches to the 30, and we get 119.28, 109.28 inches squared. That's the total area for that weird shape. 
So just take a good look at these shapes, where they can be divided, where they could be split. That made it very obvious that it was three quarters of a circle. See? And when looking at this one, you could see that it's just a big rectangle that we can take a circle out of. See? So we still need to find the area of the circle, but then we needed to subtract it from that rectangle, didn't we? All right. I'm going to show you how to plot points on a grid and draw a shape out of it and then find the area for that shape. That's going to be 9.3D. I'll see you there. Bye.